Our dashboard contains two sections, Sync Order and Sync Status. Let's talk about our Sync Order section. Here you can see the number of orders that are synchronized between your Shopify store and your Amazon Marketplace during different time durations. Like today, this week, in the last 30 days, or till date. You can also see the total number of unsynced orders. And if you want to view them, simply click on them. Now let's talk about our Sync Status section. Order Sync Status, if this toggle is turned on, we will start synchronizing your Shopify orders to your Amazon FBA centers. Further, display you the last time this synchronization happened. Inventory Sync Status. Here you can see the last time we updated your Amazon inventory levels to your Shopify store. And when we say inventory levels, we mean only the fulfillable quantity items. Tracking Sync Status. If this toggle is turned on, we will start synchronizing the tracking related information from your Amazon FBA centers to your Shopify store. Further display you the last time this synchronization happened. Now let's talk about our configuration page. This is our configuration page and it contains two sections, one, Shopify setting, two, Amazon setting. The Shopify setting section, it contains all the settings that are related to your Shopify store. Admin email. Here you should add the email on which you want to be notified about any change or error related information. You can also add multiple email addresses separated by a comma. Send daily SKU mismatched email notifications to admin. If it is set to yes, then every day you will receive emails from us, containing a list of items that have been mismatched SKUs between your Shopify store and Amazon FBA. Send archived, non-Amazon fulfilled items notifications to admin. To tell you about this setting, first let's talk about the archive item. Archive item is an item that you are hiding from Amazon FBA fulfillment. So if you select yes under this setting, then you will receive an email from us that will tell you that an order has been placed with an archived item. So now if you want to fulfill this item from your non-Amazon FBA inventory, you can do that. Auto export high risk orders. If you have set this to no, then our app can utilize Shopify's ability to detect and act on high risk orders. Order shipping email notifications to customer. If you want your customers to receive shipping emails from Shopify, set yes in via Shopify, or if you want your customers to receive shipping emails from Amazon, set yes in via Amazon. Partial fulfillment. Our app also supports partial fulfillment. Example, each FBA package will have its own tracking number, and here is a screenshot of an order that contains three items, with each having its own tracking number. Show all Amazon shipping speeds to customer. If you have set this to yes, then on Shopify during order checkout, our app will automatically show all the available Amazon shipping methods, their real-time shipping rates, and expected date of deliveries. By the way, this option is valid if your Shopify plan supports it. By default, this is available on all Shopify annual plans. To enable this functionality on other Shopify plans, please contact Shopify. Our app also supports Amazon's markup fees, and if this is something you are interested in, simply click on the Add Markup button. Further, you will be seeing these below options. Now, let's talk about them. As you know, that Amazon's available shipping methods are standard, expedited, and priority, so our app can add markup to all of these shipping methods. Show on website. If you turn on this toggle, then we will start showing the selected shipping methods along with its defined values during an order checkout. Override. If you want to give a custom name to any shipping method, just check the override button. Further enter its name in the name box and hit the save button. Shipping cost markup. This can be done by either a flat fee or a percentage of the total shipping fee. For example, if Amazon's standard shipping rate is $5 and you add a $5 flat markup, then during checkout, $10 will be the total shipping cost that will be displayed to your customer. If you want to offer discounted shipping, simply enter a negative value. Free over order total. 
If you want to offer a free shipping cost above a certain order value, just enter the amount in this field and hit the Save button. Show default Shopify shopping speeds relevant to order. If your Shopify plan does not support real-time carrier calculated shipping speeds, or you wish to have more control over the shipping speeds, you can always use Shopify's default shipping rates and methods mapped to Amazon's shipping rates. As soon as you click on the Configure button, you will see the below options. In Shopify Shipping Methods, you can see all your Shopify shipping methods. In Amazon Shipping Methods, from the drop-down menu, you can see all the Amazon's available shipping. If you want to map a Shopify shipping method with an Amazon shipping method, click on the drop-down menu, select the appropriate Amazon shipping method, and hit the Save button. Let's expand this Shopify Settings section. It contains all the settings that are related to your Amazon Marketplace. Add new Amazon Marketplace. If you want to add an Amazon Marketplace, simply click on this button. Once you do that, you'll be seeing these above options. Amazon Marketplace. From this drop-down menu, you can select your desired Amazon Marketplace. And, in order to get the Amazon Seller ID and Amazon MWS Auth token, please read our How to Get Amazon Marketplace Web Service Credentials knowledge-based article. Once you have entered these details, simply click on the Authenticate and Save button. Auto export orders from Shopify to Amazon FBA. If you have turned on this toggle, we will start exporting all the orders from your Shopify store to your Amazon Marketplace in real time. You can also see the last order export date from here. Auto import tracking of orders from Amazon FBA to Shopify. If you have turned on this toggle, we will start import tracking information from your Amazon Marketplace to your Shopify store. You can also see the last tracking import date from here. To view all the other settings we have for your Amazon Marketplace, simply click on this Show Additional Settings, including Inventory Sync Settings link. And as soon as you do that, you will see these options. Auto Import Inventory from Amazon FBA to Shopify. If this toggle is turned on, we will start synchronizing the fulfillable quantity of your items from your Amazon FBA inventory to your Shopify store. Auto Sync Cancel Order from Shopify to Amazon FBA If due to some reason one of your customers have cancelled a Shopify order, then to avoid its fulfillment, simply turn on this toggle. Or you can say that this setting can help you avoid fulfilling the cancelled orders. Set Shopify's non-Amazon FBA item inventory to zero. If there are products that you fulfill from a warehouse that is not of Amazon's, then to prevent them from going out of stock on your Shopify store, select No from this drop-down menu. Shopify location to use as virtual Amazon FBA. Here you have to choose an inventory location that we will treat as a virtual Amazon FBA location. Out of stock quantity buffer on Amazon. Whenever an Amazon item's inventory reaches or goes below this entered buffer quantity, then this particular item's inventory will automatically be updated to zero. Default packing label message. If you want to print a standard message on every packing slip, select Yes from the default packing label message drop down menu. Click on the Add Label. Enter your default packing label message. Hit the Submit button. Now, let's talk about our product's linking page. Our product's linking page contains two sections, top and bottom. First, let's talk about our top section. It contains two drop-down menus, two search fields, and a Sync Item Manually button. Account. From this drop-down menu, you can switch between your added Amazon Marketplaces, further view their individual products. Filter. From here, you can filter the SKUs that are either linked, unlinked, archived, bundled, or simply all. Now, let's talk about our search fields. If you want to search a Shopify SKU, then enter it in the Shopify SKU field and hit the Search button. Or, if you want to search an Amazon SKU, just enter it in the Amazon SKU field and hit the search button. Sync Item Manually button. 
Every six hours, our app imports new SKUs from your Shopify store. However, if you want to do it before that, simply click on this button and refresh the page after some time. Now, let's talk about our bottom section. It contains an Update Link button and an Archive button. By default, our app can automatically map the SKUs that are the same on Shopify and Amazon. But, in case they are not, or you simply want to link a Shopify SKU with an Amazon SKU, simply click on the Update Link button. Once done, enter the correct Amazon SKU in the SKU field and hit the Submit button. You can also use our app to create a bundle for a particular Shopify SKU. And to do that, simply choose your desired Shopify SKU and click on the corresponding Update Link button. Once done, you will see this pop-up. And in the Quantity field, enter the number of products that you want to ship from Amazon for this particular SKU. Now, let's talk about the Archive button. If you click on the Archive button corresponding to a Shopify SKU, then this item will simply be hidden from Amazon FBA Fulfillment. You can also use this feature if you want to manually fulfill an item from your non-Amazon FBA warehouses. In case you want to activate an archived SKU, then from Filter, choose Archived SKUs and hit the Search button. Further in the Action tab, click on the Active button. That's all we have in our products linking page. Let's talk about our order log page. Our order log page contains two sections, top and bottom. First, let's talk about our top section. It contains one drop-down menu and one search field. Order status. From this drop-down menu, you can filter the orders that are either pending, accepted by Amazon, rejected by Amazon, risk order, error, archived, closed, or invalid ship method. Order ID. If you want to see the order date, order status, and the necessary action required for a particular order, then in this field, simply enter its order ID and hit the search button. Now let's talk about our bottom section. It contains a View button and a Resubmit button. View button. If you want to view every information in an order on your Shopify store, then corresponding to that order, simply click on the View button. Resubmit button. If for some reason an order got rejected by Amazon during its initial resubmission, then after correcting the error, all you have to do is hit the resubmit button. If you have turned off your order sync toggle from our dashboard page, then you also use this button to manually submit an order to Amazon FBA for its fulfillment. This is an Amazon Marketplace App Store approved app. Feel free to pass on any feedback or comments to us.